Did you guys know that the idea of clan capital is not exactly new? I know. Well, today we got 15 facts about clan capital that you might not know about. What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe, welcome back to the show. And as many of you know by now, the clan capital is a game mode that involves clans and the members within it. All of which I explained in the clan capital basics guide, which I will link down in the description below for you. But did you know, as of now, each district has a unique scenery, which is incapable of being changed and is linked to the location of that district on the map. Since the clan capital feature is unlocked, locked at Town Hall 6, we can see a Town Hall 6 in the background of the Clan Capital map and inside three different districts, Capital Peak, Barbarian Camp, and Dragon Cliffs, all of which are on the right side of the mountain. Each district has a different theme. The Barbarian Camp is the second district unlocked and is themed around Barbarians, unlocking the Sneaky Archer, Super Barbarian, Battle Ram, Super Giant, and the Minion Horde. The third district unlocked, Wizard Valley, is themed around Wizards and Magic, unlocking Super Wizard, Heal Spell, and the Jump Spell. The fourth, Balloon Lagoon, is balloon themed, unlocking the Skeleton Barrel, the Rocket Balloon, Flying Fortress, and the Lightning Spell. The Builder's Workshop is the fifth district unlocked with a Builder theme, unlocking the Raid Cart, Super P.E.K.K.A., and the Frost Spell. The sixth district, Dragon Cliffs, is themed around dragons and other flying creatures, unlocking the Super Dragon, Hog Raiders, and the Rage Spell. The seventh district, Golem Quarry, is themed around the Golem Troop, unlocking the Mountain Golem. A stone tablet can be found on Capitol Peak telling the origin story of the Mountain Golem's creation. On all districts other than the Capitol Peak, the Clan Badge is visible in the top left near the bridge leading to the stairs. The Clan Badge's background color is used for the banners appearing on the arches overlooking the two sets of steps connecting the district. On the Capitol Capital Peak, the clan badge is visible in the bottom right on top of the gateway, with the badge's background color being used for the banner underneath. The badge's background color also determines the color of the cushion underneath the key on the giant statue in the top right, as well as part of the color used on the parasols near the pool. The giant statue's cushion on the main capital map does not change color, nor does the badge on top of the capital hall. The clan capital buildings finish instantly once enough capital gold has been contributed by clan mates. There is no upgrade time. Even though multiple upgrades can be started on a district at once, there is only one builder called the Grand Builder or the Ancient Builder. His hut can be found at the top of the Capitol Mountain near the Capitol Peak. The Capitol map has what appears to be 16 unbuilt district platforms which insinuates that expansion of the clan capital can take place without map alteration in future game updates. The waterfall on the home village was introduced in the game's launch back in 2012, but was removed three months later due to the game performance reasons on older devices. It returned in March of 2020 redesigned with more dimension and layers. Over on the clan capital map, you will find water running down the map into what appears to be the waterfall's location on the home village. Does this mean that the clan capital feature has been planned since the beginning of Clash of Clans? Nope. Originally, the concept of clan villages were on a list of blacklisted ideas by Supercell. But on May 2nd of 2022, Clan Capital was released to the public globally exactly three weeks later than spring updates in previous years. According to community manager Darian, the developer video was recorded back in early March of 2022 with the intent to release in April. But this was pushed back for additional testing of the raid weekend feature. In the days leading up to the Capitals release, Clash of Clans Twitter released this image hinting at a new resource. 
the capital gold, which just so happened to be strategically placed next to the trader tent, indicating the changes that were implemented to the trader post in this update. And if you think that's bad, apparently we've been teased about this feature dating all the way back to September of 2020. In the Lost and Crown short film, we got our first glimpse of troops in the airship transport on September 11th. And again, a similar transportation device appeared in the Gingerbread Mayhem video on December 21st of 2020. Game designer Seth posted this tweet that Clash of Clans and Clash Royale designers were working together a lot more, and that there was an exciting project he was helping with, now known to be the Clan Capital feature. But what's even more interesting about this is that this project idea wasn't exactly new. The Clan Capital concept dates all the way back to August 16th of 2013 when a guy named man with cow provided a detailed write-up explaining the idea of clan capital and how it should work to include unique buildings and defenses which honestly makes me wonder after nine years is that guy even playing anymore if you completed the raid weekend tutorial for the free capital gold the clan you attacked is called the order which is known as the very first clan created in clash of clans dating back to September of 2012. The same clan seen when you beat Master Jimmy in the Builder Base tutorial. The first clan to fully max all districts after the clan capital's release was Lost F2P, with their number one player having a reputation of 72 and over 1.1 million capital gold contributed. And according to this massive brain on Twitter, it will take approximately 90 million total gold to fully max the clan capital along with gem buying prices to craft resources and builder time finishes. But to simplify things, let's just say if you have 50 active Town Hall 14s, it should take about a year to fully max in its current state. So that was 15 clan capital easily overlooked facts. But what did we miss? Let us know down in the comments below and we will see you in the next video.